Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you all the non-essential services that I turn off when I first get a Fire TV stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my remote control, press the house or the home button and then go across to the cogs on the right hand side there. Then go down and across to display and audio middle button on the remote control. Now, first of all, I'm going to turn the screensaver off. Now, the reason behind this is because when the screensaver kicks in, it does use a lot of data, gobbles up a lot of storage space on the Fire TV stick. And storage is something we simply don't have a lot of. So go into screensaver. OK, go down to the bottom and we just want to turn all this off. We want to turn shuffle off, Alexa hints off, display info off, date and clock off. Go up to start time. It will say five minutes probably if yours is new go down to never and uh, make sure that's set to never then press the back button on the remote control go down to audio middle button turn the navigation sounds off that clicking noise this clicking noise here that you can hear turn that off because that does cause slight a slight delay also go into surround sound there and select which option is best for you i leave it on best available but if you're finding frequently that certain uh streaming goes out of sync then try the different options to see if any of those help Press the back button on the remote control, go down to advanced audio, middle button, and I generally turn these off, the volume lever, leveler and dialogue enhancer. I mean, it doesn't seem to make any difference on mine, but if you prefer to leave those on, then by all means leave them on. Then we go back, back again, back again, go across to applications, middle button, Go to Amazon Photos there. Now, this there's a little bit of a bug in this system here in turning it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Access Amazon Photos, first of all, and press the middle button on the remote control. Go to Disable Amazon Photos, middle button, middle button again to confirm the disabled. OK, and then go back into Amazon Photos. And there you go. It should say access Amazon photos is disabled. And now I'm going to turn allow guest connections off. Now, if I try and do those together, one or the other doesn't turn off. So I'm going to go into allow guest connections, middle button, turn that off, back button. And I'm just going to go back into it again just to check to make sure they're off. Yes, they are. OK, so back button again. Go down to game circle, middle button. Because I don't play games on the Fire TV stick, I'm going to turn off Whisper Sync for games. So middle button to turn that off, back button, and then back button. And then I'm going to go down to App Store and middle button. OK, I'll leave automatic updates on. External market links, I'm going to say ask before opening there, back button. In-app purchases, I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to purchase anything in an app without uh, obviously being consulted. I think usually you are anyway, but I'm going to turn that off and notifications I'm going to turn that off as well to turn off notifications re related to the app store back button on the remote control back button again go down to preferences middle button go down to privacy settings middle button and I'm going to turn device usage data off middle button middle button again I'm going to turn collect app usage data off as well so middle button middle button again and I'm going to turn interest based ads off so middle button and middle button again so make sure all of those are off and back button then go down to data monitoring now if you want to keep an eye on what's sucking up your data if you're on a, a limited plan say for instance on your internet service then it's a good idea to keep this on because you can keep an eye on the monthly top usage data to see what apps are gobbling up your data and see how much they are gobbling up. So I'm going to go up to data monitoring because I'm on an unlimited connection. I'm going to turn that off. So back button, go down to notification settings, middle button and uh, do not interrupt. I'm going to turn that on. OK, and I'm going to go to app notifications, middle button, and I'm going to turn all of these off. So go down the list here, turn every single one of them off just by pre highlighting them, middle button on the remote control and turning the on to off. So once you've done that, back button, back button again, go down to featured content, middle button and where it's got allow video autoplay 
set to on, turn that off, allow audio, autoplay, set that to off as well. That is basically adverts that pop up on Amazon's uh, home screen. So you might get an advert for a latest series or a film that's been launched and uh, that stops the uh, the videos and the audio so you only get static pictures sometimes i used to turn the fire tv stick on and a video would start playing and uh, it would be quite loud so uh, so i'm just turning those off so back button on the remote control back button again and there we go those are the non-essential things that i turn off on my fire tv stick which might make it run that little bit better for you I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.